everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't want to get hit. Um, I wanted to talk about um, my time, um, today's church security. Um, I'm, I'm going to call it church security diaries. Um, basically, I debuted it. A, a, I debuted a security vest um, to give people um, to see. Oh, okay. You are official. You know, sometimes when people you have words or badge or stuff, uh, people see you in different light. Um, I did want to do a badge because I'm not a police officer. Granted, I have done security and I did have a badge. There's no law saying that you can't have a badge. You can be a peace officer and have a badge. It's just what you do uh, behind it. You have the right to secure your own property, uh, especially if you're a nonprofit, um, five, five, you know, uh, take 501. C organization, which churches are, it's, um, in falls in that category. So, uh, so far, I, I didn't get no pushback. Um, so that's you know that's pretty good. Um, to kind of prepare for today, um, I, I I did get a laser cartridge, and I did um, work on my dry fire, take it out of the holster, take it off the safe, uh, put it on the la uh, laser. Um, I have a laser now on my uh, G2C. Uh, I'm going to practice without it um, just for timing, but if I need a pinch, you know, I, I time time of wasting, and you don't want to um, um, take time. One thing I know is, is you know, me scanning. Okay, uh, sometimes what I was doing before, I was doing security, but nobody didn't know. So when you're looking to scope things for safety wise, you're looking for threats, mental health. Uh, sadness, looking if they have any shifting eyes or uncomfortable or they doing something out of ordinary that most people not doing. And I would see people like, you know, why is this dude watching me? And um, I'm like, okay, let me get this security thing so people know that I'm not trying to wear you out. I'm just trying to just scan. So, um, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm getting more comfortable in the role, um, you know, I'm, I'm learning about being friendly, I'm not a, hey, I'm not a social butterfly person, I'm a one-on-one -on -one person, and, but if you're a person that see, and, and many times, you are the first person that see. You kind of naturally become a breeder by default. Um, you know, sometimes I take it a little too seriously, but really it's not serious, but really is. So you just making sure, watching, you know, like, okay. So, um, I definitely feel like, hey, I'm protecting, hey, I'm doing, and people realize that's what I'm doing. So when people, you have identity of who's doing what, it makes it easier versus, you know, something show, something that show you what you're supposed to do. So um, I'm happy for that. I'm happy. Uh, I'm doing God's work. Uh, no saint, but 
I'm a nation protects the people who can't protect themselves. And I'm, you know, if I'm there and God willing, I'm in okay health, I can do it. Um, only thing probably my, where I'm a backup on is like, I don't want to do it every week. I want, you know, I want a break at least once, one, one time a month, just sit and somebody else do it or, you know, so it's, it's a lot of eye movement to people that needs to know, like, I'm watching, then something's okay, you know, I'm showing, I'm shaking, like, or I thumbs up, you know, like, everything's good. Um, and for the most part, most churches are, I feel, is secure, uh, but it's always one, it's always out of the blue, it's always something. Uh, my church is, is a traditionally African-American church. And the, and the area is African American. By statistics, that's not something African Americans do as after shooter. You can say wherever you want, look at the stats. So it's not the same. Now it could be a, a, a gang violence situation that could tend to be, but everybody got a car, right? <laughs> You know, any person can have a mental health or a serial killer or the government is against me and I'm going to use, okay, I'm driving. Ah, there seems to be some cars there. Let me just go there. And um, you know, that's, that's the, that's the, um, the risk, right? Um, but if you're doing your job, securing the areas, protecting, um, work on a, a, a legit security team, and I was talking to the pastor, like, yo, you know, I, I've been seeing your emails, we're going to talk on it, and really put it in, into paper, and that's all I really want, put it into paper, make sure everybody's good you know that's 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 it you know um you know that's all you can do you know and i feel you know um that was the reason why i got a gun um it's for just this purpose i didn't feel like i needed one before felt like i could get out in a situation or avoid most of it but um there's a level that guns can do what less lethal cannot do less lethal can give you personal protection and help you get away from a situation i believe that but if you're in the scope of security and you gotta know your region um it's only so much it can do. It can do a lot. It can do a, a, a whole lot, but it, it's not going to protect the masses against a gun sailor. Um, just not, it, it's, it's gonna do okay. You can, I mean, you can even slow them down with pepper balls, and then boom, 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 pepper ball. And then they get choked on that, and most of the time, you take away sight, sound, smell, it'll take away the fight of any person. That's just a general cross. And then, if they still stand there after all that, and you finish your round, then you can shoot a warning shot, gunshot if you want, or you can do what you have to do. Um, and then this is one thing I realized today. Yo, I'm not a police officer. I, I, you know, do 
good enough to protect the people. Let somebody call the police and let the real people that's trained, uh, legally trained, take over and get my information. Granted, I do have more martial arts skill than most police officers. I don't care what you say. You may be offended, but check my receipts. I do this four to five days a week, my martial arts. Um, to the cops I know, they may go back training twice, twice a year at most. Um, so I feel like I have a leg up, but you know, I'm getting more comfortable in the role and I'm doing what is needed. And um, slowly but surely, we're forming something to protect. Uh, and having and being concealed carry don't make you the authority. Um, one thing I have noticed about some concealed carry, they don't shoot enough. They shoot maybe once every five months. Um, I gotta get this practice in every week, or at least every other week, depending on you know how much money I have for ammo for training. Um, Like tomorrow, I'm going to the range and um, I'm you know, I'm shoot 24 shot. And that's my limit for the day. Maybe on a happy day, I, I may do do 100, like Christmas or something, you know. But I got I gotta keep living and affording this stuff and have enough ammo to protect. Um, where everything's done. So, uh, long story short, church security, I did my job. Um, I, I, and also, I had a person who had, had camera, had a, um, uh, access to the videos uh, the, uh, of all the surveillance cameras. So, that was good. When you have multiple people having. You have someone managing the security and one out in the presence. Um, I think that's a good thing. If you have a much bigger church, then you need a whole lot more. But do something, you know, because you're a place of worship or, or something, doesn't mean you have to be vulnerable. And for many years, we were very vulnerable. I didn't even think about how vulnerable it was until the more start doing weapons so all right guys have a good one